we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. See you later.
Hm. Egan has made a friend. Huh. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. Before the war, we plundered Rothfear from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities. Fey abilities. So, you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. Obviously. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Then you'll have to pay for it with your life. You see, we have much invested in this deception. Blood, gold, not to mention the hours wasted on Egan. We may be criminals, but we're an honourable pair. We worked hard for our prize, and now we mean to have it. Poor choice. Besides, Egan was just an instrument, a tool, as I'm sure you discovered. He can be disposed of, and so can you. You outsmarted us once, stranger, but don't expect it to happen again. My brother and I didn't get to where we are today by being fools. Let's hope this is goodbye. <laughs> No, how could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell, come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Bye then. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. See you later. Good day. Great Mitharu. Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure.
Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Mitharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then... I won't stand in your way. The brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter, and is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel, a raider in the dreaded Red Legion. A gang of the notorious bandit, Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. And now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood rite. Two lives for one. He let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. I could hand myself over to Red, but he'd have me killed. The only other choice is to kill the men who left with me. I can't do that. I'm not the man I used to be. I do what I must. I only hope Ugnar and Itrin will forgive me. Ugnar works in Gorhart village. Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi. Still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Mithoru bless you. It is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Surrender your life, or the lives of two others. I'll admit it. My past is a tapestry of drunkenness and loose morals, women and wine. I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't have gotten where I am without making mistakes. Ugnar could always be found by Red's side, Red's right hand. But beneath his brutal exterior, Agnar was a good man, tortured by the ghosts of his dead wife and children. Itrin, however, rivals only Red Idward in his bloodlust. They say he was once a Justicar, but was expelled for brutality. His devotion to his god Enadon is fanatical. I fought under Red for years, yet I know nothing of him. I do know this. He will do anything to get what he wants. The most dangerous kind of man is one without limits. 
The people here are kind, yet suspicious. They believe the mission harbors secrets, and they're right. That filled the hunger I was hoping to sate with wine, women, anything and everything. The mission gives my life meaning. Agnar works for the inn at Gorhart. Etrin has taken to calling himself the Shade, and robs travelers and Haxi. Mithoru is with you. How can I help? Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the order. Mitharu does embrace all. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Mitharu. Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers. Greetings. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Henry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Goodbye. Welcome to Gorhart. It's busy today. <laughs> How may I help you today, my friend? <laughs> Stick around. 